Hey everyone, this is the Next Archer. I got back from Knob Creek Machine Gun Shoot last night. I was there for 12 hours um, from the time I actually got there to the time I left. I didn't sit at all except for 10 minutes, which made my legs hurt a lot. I will be uploading the um, footage of the explosions and everything later on today. But right now, I will be showing what I picked up there. I thought it was pretty cool. There's some stuff I actually have questions about. Maybe you guys can answer or try to find out for me. Well, it's like solid white right there just because the window. I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, we'll get into the stuff that I bought. One second. Uh, first thing's a Benchmade coffee mug. I bought that and a Benchmade decal sticker, which at first I thought they were a little too expensive. The coffee cup was going to be 8 and the sticker was going to be $5. But the one guy told me if I wanted to, I could get both of them for $10, which was really nice of them because usually these coffee mugs go for about $10 online. Plus shipping and handling. So, um, let's go into the other items. Bought a lanyard, um, just a green one. I thought it was cool, and one of the reasons I bought it was what company? Um, it was the custom knife company that was there. Um, I can't, I'm not gonna slaughter their name, I don't know how to say it. But, yeah. But they talked to me about their knives, and I was like, the least I can do is buy one of these lanyards. And I was kind of wanting a lanyard anyways, so I put that on my um, Benchmade 710. Next, uh, we'll go to the lighter that I got. It's a IMCO triple lighter. So you press down right there, lights up. And one thing you can do is kind of twist that and pull down. And it's like candle. But I thought that was really neat. Got that. Oh, I got the lanyard for $3 and the lighter was $6. Okay, now into some of the bigger, more interesting things. I could put that face down. Okay, I bought these two things paired for $15 total. First is Frost's Mora from Sweden, and this is the high carbon. I've been wanting one of these, and I just thought it would be a good deal because they're usually $15 plus shipping and handling online. So. I picked that up, and this one is a knife I actually have a question about. Lion Steel from Manigo, Italy. So I don't know if this is an actual Lion Steel knife, because I'm pretty sure they're just a custom knife company. But here it is. I mean, it feels like a solid knife and has. A little indent right there that's really grippy. And I'll try to show that on there. There's some stuff on there. But it's a lockback knife that seems really nice to me. So Tell me what you think about this knife, um, if it really is a lion steel knife, how much it's actually worth. So it feels like a really solid knife. No blade play at all. Solid. Has a little, uh, has a slight left and right, but that's just from needing a little tightening on the pivot area. Now for the biggest attraction. Bench made. 
This one is exciting. This is one that I've actually been wanting, um, but I haven't been wanting to pay the price for it. I haven't cleaned this up yet, but he said he's never used it. It was just sitting out there and it was very, very dusty. This is an old one. Um, so. The Benchmade Aries. Um, it's one of the Benchmade Aries. It's the uh, 735. He actually had another one of these, but I didn't have the money for it, so I didn't buy it. And the other one was satin with serrations. The um, I got this for a hundred dollars, which was actually a great deal because usually online they are about two to three hundred. Love the knife. Um, I like it mostly because it reminds me a lot of my Nitra Striker, which was my first knife that I got. There was a Good, or a high value knife. So there you go. Um, I've a, I actually saw three of these things total, um, including this one. Two this guy had. He also had a rescue striker for ninety dollars. Um, I didn't pick that one up either. But there was another guy that he just kind of made me mad. The seller did because. Um, well, I'll explain that. It was this, the one that the other seller had was a not very, like, it was satin non-serrated, but you could tell somebody wasn't, like, sharpened, somebody sharpened it incorrectly. Well, that that's before I saw this one. And I was talking to him, and I was like, do you have the box? He's like, no, I'd have to look for it. And I was like, can you try to find it if I get it? And his reply was, for $25 I can look for it and he was already charging 125 for the knife and I was like yeah I'm not gonna do that so after that I kind of ignored it because I really like the knife so I asked how much it would cost for that knife and for the Spyrco Sharp Maker and he was like yeah we don't do deals with combination of items and he was got, he raised the price on me. So he was just kind of a, a jerk. Just kind of wanting to tell him off. So I didn't buy that knife from him, but I did find the knife anyways, just with black serrations. Which I think actually looks nicer. Especially since this is non used with a box. Well, the thing about the box is that it doesn't have the right number on it says um, 735S this is the 735BKS but that doesn't really matter to me it's going to be in my own collection it's really dusty right now though yeah I like it a lot so, there's my knives. The two I was most excited about was this one and the Lion Steel Knife. Which, the Lion Steel Knife, if it's an actually a real Lion Steel Knife that I got for $15 with the um, Frost Mora knife, I think I got a great deal on that. Um, so, Please try to find out for me if this is an actual lion steel knife. It says, Steel Lion Italy. And the sheath says, Lion Steel Manico Italy. So, there you go. I spent a lot of money. I, well, I spent $140 there. But... Looking at the stuff, this one knife is worth about 260 one sold on eBay recently. This one's worth 15 plus shipping and handling. This one I have no clue. 
got that lighter, and then the awesome coffee mug and sticker. So I got a great deal on the stuff. I spent a lot, but I still have some money left over because I've been saving up for um, Knob Creek. So I hope you guys like. Um, I know I enjoyed Knob Creek Machine Gun Shoot. Video will be coming up later of the actual explosions and everything. I'm kind of dreading the upload time because um, I used this camera. And for some reason, even though it says YouTube on it, it takes like three hours to upload anything. So I'm, I'm going to leave it unedited, and then I'm going to try to edit a video for you guys. Now I have to go eat because my food's ready. See you guys later. Thanks. Bye.